All right, time to talk to Sonia at Bryan Insurance Agency about a timely topic that has on the news a lot lately. Uh, people making some outlandish claims. Kim Kardashian has uh, come up and said that she was robbed of millions of dollars worth of jewelry. And uh, how does that relate to us? Well, Rick, if you have been keeping up with the Kardashians, see how clever that was? Very cool. Yeah, if you've been reading the news, then you know that Kim Kardashian supposedly was robbed of millions of dollars worth of jewelry while she was in Paris during Fashion Week. And, you know, if I really hope that most people that we know, people that are listening, cannot relate to Kim Kardashian. I certainly don't want to. But I do think that we can use this opportunity to talk about something that's very important, which is your scheduling your jewelry items that you might own to make sure that you have proper coverage. Because the people that I know... My clients, people that, you know, are people that we know here, if they have a nice item of jewelry or, you know, something a little more expensive than the average, it's because they worked really hard to get it. And so, you know, it's not just because they're some kind of semi-celebrity and they get money for not doing anything, but because they've really worked hard and they've invested in these items that, you know, I want to just make sure that people know what they need to do to make sure that they have insurance coverage correctly on those items. You know, some people travel, go out of town, different things. They have a, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollar wedding ring or or a necklace that costs uh, lots of money, things like that. You're going to want to show those things off. You want other people to see uh, what you've got. But those are things that definitely have to be scheduled upon your uh, your policy, so that way the insurance company knows exactly what you got. That's right, and you don't want to rely on just your homeowner's or renter's policy. While there is some coverage for jewelry on those policies, uh, it is very limited, and it's also going to be subject to your deductible. So the best thing to do is to either schedule your jewelry items on your policy or get a separate valuable items policy. And the benefit for that is, first of all, if you have an appraisal on your jewelry item, which it's recommended that you get a new appraisal at least every three to five years, um, but that if you have an appraisal, you can list the item on your policy. It's described and everything, so there's no question that you had it. Then uh, you you can usually get that covered for the amount of the appraisal at a very low rate and even with a very low or sometimes no deductible. Another benefit to having it scheduled is it, it would be covered anywhere in the world, uh, not just if it was stolen from your home, but if it was stolen or something happened to it anywhere in the world or even if you lost it. So... I can't say enough. You need to make sure that you have those items scheduled either on your homeowner's policy or valuable items policy. And while most of us don't have, you know, $2 million rings or anything, you know, it is still, it, it's an investment to us. And I think it's important that you make sure that you have that stuff covered. And what about stuff like, uh, let's say you have your grandmother's wedding ring or you have your mother's wedding ring or something that your dad had maybe during the war or something like that. Uh, about those things, making sure that uh, they're appraised and uh, those are also scheduled. A lot of times we probably don't think about those items. That's true, and and you really can't insure the sentimental value. You're pretty much going to just be able to insure the actual value of the item. And another thing that if you do have things like that, that we recommend is to have a safe and keep those things in a safe. And in fact, if you do that, a lot of insurance companies will give you a very large uh, discount on your valuable items policy because you do keep them in a safe. But uh, yeah, again, it, it's, it means something to you and that's what's important. So you want to make sure you protect it. You know, speaking of the jewelry situation, the gold and, and things like that, uh, this is maybe a little different. Uh, what about stuff like gold coins and things like that that you see a lot of jewelry stores selling now? Well, that's another item that is that is limited. Coins, money, any kind of money, especially collectibles, are limited on the homeowner's policy. So if you do have a collection or some valuable uh, gold coins or, or what what have you, Talk to your agent about scheduling those as well. And while we're talking about it, your firearms is another thing that's important that is limited on your homeowner's policy that you do need to schedule. So there's a lot of items you have in your house that uh, you need to really take a look at. Maybe something you've had, you know, your whole life that, that was owned by, you know, a previous family and things like that. You know, you may not have those things listed. That's why you need to talk to your agent about you know, finding out exactly what you need to put on. That's right. And and it's really, you know, I've had several clients where they have either a fire or a theft, and it's really difficult to remember everything you had. 
it's just hard. You know, you're already in shock because you've had this loss, whether it's, like I said, a fire, theft, something that's happened. And then it's really hard to start putting together the things that you have. So it's really good to have those things listed, especially the ones that are limited, like the jewelry or the collections or the firearms. Have those listed out and scheduled. Keep, your, keep a copy of your appraisals in your safe or have your agent keep a copy of them. Uh, just little tips like that so that if something does happen that you're prepared, you know what you lost. Another thing, a uh, good tip is to take pictures of these items, put them on a flash drive someplace away from your home, uh, maybe in your office or someplace. That way you can identify it real easy if it's stolen or if you lose it in a fire, these sort of things. Uh, if some of them, somebody needs to call you, talk to you, and say, hey, I need some advice on these things, uh, what do they do? Well, you can always call our office, 940-549-2525. You can come visit us. We're on the second floor of the Sierra Bank building in downtown Graham. Or you can visit us on the website, www.brianbrianins.com. Give them a call today, and they will help you out for sure. Stay tuned. We have more coming up here in the 8 o'clock hour. Don't you go away.